Today we're going to discuss everything about exclusive OR gate. It's very simple, it's, it's quite similar to a multiplexer. There's an OR gate and an AND gate here. So this is the symbol usually. And the identity are those three. If you have the same variable exclusive OR together equal to zero. If a signal exclusive OR a zero, it becomes the signal itself. Or if it's one, then it's a complement of that signal. Let's see some very nice property of exclusive OR gate. Suppose I want to have an equation left and right to be equal. I have a four variable here. If I want to complement the whole thing, I complement the whole thing. And what is the on the right side equal sign should be? Let's see some nice property you equal to any of the signal, complement one signal. For example, you can complement this one, you can complement this one, you can do this, or you can complement the three of them, or a number of them. So this looks very nice. Another application of exclusive war gate is, suppose you want to build an adder, so the sum of the two outprime, A and B, plus the current in, is the sum, exclusive or all, all three of them. Suppose you already have a full adder, how do you build subtractor? This is very simple, you have a exclusive or gate for each of the bits inside the B, and you have a line here called subtract. So if you connect this way, this become either or adder when the signal is to be zero or subtractor when the signal is to be one. Let's see. If you have a zero, zero means you have no carry. And remember the identity we have when we have a zero. When we have a zero, the signal becomes itself. That means the sum is A and B. A add B. Suppose the subtractor is one. If the subtractor is one, which means you have a one here, and the signal become complement. Here is a complement the B signal. So B is here, which is uh, one's complement. You implement one's complement with an inverter here. You invert that. If you have a signal here as one, you add one to the carry one's complement become two's complement. You have a, a add two's complement of B, which is A minus B. So that's how you implement subtractor with a full add. There are other applications. For example, you have a redundancy. You can use an exclusive word. Suppose we want to transmit A and B two signals and go through a long line, noisy line. At the end, say if it's a is received, B is lost. If you don't have any redundant bits, then you cannot recover the B. But suppose in the addition, we have A and B, we also have a P here. P is the exclusive word of A and B. You transmit that P over the link as well. Suppose we receive that P. How do you recover B? So B is a simply a A exclusive or P, and the rest is just a proof. You plug in the P from this formula and use that property we saw before. If A exclusive or A is zero, and here if it's zero, then it becomes B. This is very simple parity. You send a parity over the link, there's some more complicate other algorithm like ECC and checks and so on. They all use this property. There's a, another way you can use this. This is more software. Software say if I want to swap X and Y without using any other temporal variable, this is how you do. This is a step one, two, three. At the, the end of step three, A, X, and Y are swapped. And notice, I never introduced any intermediate variable. What else can you say about exclusive word gate? Here is Vine diagram. This is very basic. So you have A and B, they both each a circle. On the center, the white color is the AND function. And the overall whole thing is the O function. So the right color is exactly exclusive A and B. If you have a three variable, that will look like this. It's nothing special. Let's look at the two variable situation a little bit more detail. Suppose A and B, I draw a Cartesian diagram. On this 2D, two-dimensional diagram, I have a four point. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, and 1, 1. 
In the pattern recognition theories such as neural network, there's a discussion about using ex exclusive word gate. In that context, the whether a pattern is linear separable. Let's that's that's draw a couple of curves which, which is linear separable. Suppose we have an OR gate. I draw a line here is which is a linear. It's a line here. I can separate this point from the remaining three points. The remaining three points are the result of OR. So I use that to separate. I can also draw a line here to separate this point from the rest of the other three points. This will be AND function. So what is an exclusive word in this context? Exclusive word, you want to separate this two with the other two. So look at this diagram. You cannot have a linear line, which is linear. You cannot have a linear separable uh, function to classify those two points because one linear line cannot separate those two points from those two points. In neural network, it develops multi-layer perceptron. In the higher layer, you can separate those two points from the diagonal two points. There are many, many other applications for the exclusive war gate. For example, if you want to do a hash, the exclusive war is unbiased at 50%. Compared to the or and uh, and function, the exclusive OR gate is unbiased. So suppose there are three functions we, we try to implement and we apply a lot of time is consecutive number like a zero or one. And when you have something idle in, you know, you could send this signal. But if you hash it with exclusive OR case, the zero when hash with that is this signal itself. If you use AND and OR, the resulting will be zero, 1, which is not desirable. 